So hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about the seven sons of Sceva. So there were these guys, uh, this is in Acts 19, that saw Paul going around and starting to say uh, to demon-possessed people, you know, like, leave in the name of Jesus. And so these sons come up with a, a scheme, basically. They go around and they're like, oh, well, look, we're just as good. And so they go to this demon, right, or possessed, this person that was possessed by a demon, and this might not have been the first time that this happened, but they go and then they say, in the name of Jesus, the one that Paul talks about, come out. And this demon turns to them and says, you know, through the person says, Jesus, I know, Paul, I've heard of, but who are you? And then he, they, he attacks them. He beats the snot out of all the seven of them as they're running up the hill. So, and running away. So I just wanted to kind of, I know that this might seem like an extreme example, but a lot of times we end up in the same boat. So we happen to go half cocked off onto some sort of model or we can do something, but we don't have the revelation of what it is that's going on. That's what the real problem here is. The sons of Sceva, they knew how to do something. They knew how Paul did it, but they didn't have the revelation that Paul had whenever he did this, whenever he prayed for people, whenever he commanded evil spirits to leave. They didn't have the, they didn't have the revelation. And so a lot of times this was what happened a lot to me. Like we would go to different conferences or different things like that. And all of a sudden we'd all get these great ideas and these grandiose ideas on how we can make our church better, how we can make things better. But we didn't get the revelation. So we come back and we try to put things in order and then we'd get frustrated whenever things didn't work the way that we thought they would. And so uh, this, is, this is common. We cannot build off of someone else's information and there is no instruction guide on how to build the church. What there is, is there is revelation that we can have by drawing closer to God and using that revelation to build the church and to build our connection to God and to help us minister to others. So it's all gonna flow from a revelation from God. If you want an instruction guide, you're looking at the wrong place. So that being said, start looking at your own life. Start looking at the things around you. A lot of times we get instructions of, hey, spend 15 minutes in prayer. Make sure you have your you know, Bible reading time and this, that, and the other. And those things are great. Trust me. Those things are awesome. But going on a walk with God could be something that enlightens your love language and enlightens your time with God. Why are we limiting ourselves by the things that other people have done? Like I said, I don't think any of it's wrong or anything of it's bad. Like, please spend time with God, you know, spend time in prayer, spend time in the word. But work towards the revelation of how much God loves you and who he is and how he wants you to build your ministry that he wants to grow through you. And that perspective change makes all the difference. Thanks for taking a minute.